1974, the skeptics told my father you couldn't combine all the comforts and conveniences of a larger motorhome with the driving ease of a van, pickup, or SUV. After I show you the features and benefits of the many Rotrek models, I think you'll agree that we've proven them wrong. Let's start with the 190 Versatile, the original Rotrek model. Bet you can't believe this vehicle has a big bathroom, a marine toilet, and a stand-up shower. Come on in and let's take a look. Rather than having a small permanent bathroom in a vehicle this size, we've chose to maximize living space when the bathroom is not in use by having a temporary bathroom privacy area. Create privacy to the rear just by extending this door across the aisle. Then do the same thing at the front. And you create a large bathroom privacy area. Inside the privacy area, there's a marine toilet with its own holding tank. It's also a stand-up shower in the aisle. To take a shower, just remove the shower curtain. Surround yourself while you're standing in the aisle. I'll open it up so you can see what's going on. Shower head can be used handheld or mounted in this bracket. The water just runs down into the lower floor section, down into the trough in the floor. When you're done showering, just dry off the curtain, put it in the shower head away, and you're done. From within the privacy area, you also have access to your wardrobe, so you can use it as a private change area with full standing height and lots of elbow room. Lastly, from the bathroom privacy area, you have access to your sink. To use a sink, just uncover it. But if you're at all concerned about using your kitchen sink to perform personal hygiene, you have this hygienic sink liner. Just insert it in the sink to brush your teeth or whatever. When you're done, just remove the liner, leaving the sink clean and untouched for food preparation. Finally, the privacy doors can be used to separate the sleeping sections at night for privacy. The 190 Versatile sleeps four, two at the rear, where the L-shaped lounge goes down into a double bed. The table goes down to become part of the support of the bed. Cushions come together, creating a six foot two by 52 inch wide double bed. Each of our beds feature five inch dual density foam. There's three inches of a softer foam on top two inches of a firmer foam on bottom, creating a box spring-like effect. We're sleeping for another two at the front. The passenger side, just swivel the captain seat, it's back in the center. Remove this backrest. And then place one of these folding mattresses. It creates a flat sleeping area, long enough for an adult. Do the same thing on this side for two single beds. Road truck is the only Class B motorhome that still has a lowered floor. The original van floor is where the carpeting is. We've lowered the floor a few inches. That way you get full standing height without having to have such a high roof. It reduces the overall height of the vehicle, minimizes wind sway, which improves handling, and it gives you better fuel economy. Lowered floor also provides a more appropriate counter height, and even makes it easier to exit from the van because you're leaving from a lower level. Another advantage of road treks are the wide aisle. It makes it so two people can pass with ease. When it comes to storage, road treks can't be beat. Starting at the front, we have a storage area up here, storage along the side rails, and an upper cupboard here. There's even storage underneath each lounge seat. You also have the same on this side. 
you can get a removable wardrobe that's interchangeable with this lounge seat. So we're on vacation, you have extra hanging space. When you come back home and want to use a vehicle as a second car, just take out the wardrobe and put the lounge seat back in. On the passenger side, you can get an armoire instead of this lounge seat. It's got hanging space or shelf space with two drawers down below. In the galley, there's a lot of storage as well. There's three cabinets above the counter, cutlery drawer, the large cabinet below the counter, there's a cabinet for your audio video equipment and other storage, two large cabinets at the back, storage area across the rear that's accessible from the rear door that I'll show you later, there's a shelf above the toilet, two shelves above the wardrobe area. Note that all cabinets are covered with solid maple doors. Each road trek will be equipped with a flat screen TV. It's mounted on this bracket so you can watch while you're laying in bed, or you can sort it out in the aisle and watch from the front captain seats, the most comfortable seats in the vehicle. It also allows you to get a good distance away from the TV, which is often a problem in a small RV. All Chevy based road treks are equipped with an air conditioner and heat pump for cool nights. It's built into the roof rather than being on top, raising the overall height and ruining the aerodynamics. On colder nights, there's a propane furnace. And each road truck is equipped with a power inverter and charger. When you're plugged into 110 volt, it charges your batteries, allowing you to use your 12 volt lights and other appliances. When you're not plugged in, it'll invert the 12 volt back to 110 volt to power your audio video equipment and other small appliances like a slow cooker. In the galley, there's a two burner propane stove that's recessed with a flush cover just like the sink, so that when you're not using any of those items, you've got extra counter space. There's a three cubic foot, three-way fridge, 110 volt microwave. There's a monitor panel, allows you to keep track of your levels of propane, fresh and waste water, and battery charge. The 190 Versatile seats four at the front. With the two belted positions in the rear, you have forward-facing seating for six, making for an excellent second vehicle. Notice that the two front captain seats are swiveled. We use a cab area's living space to help create this comfortable lounge area for four. In the middle, we have this cloverleaf dining table. It swivels into the center, so everyone has access. And at each person, there's a leaf extension. When you do the other two as well, you have a large dining area for four. the table is not in use, swivels off to the side, make it easy for people to get in and out. One advantage of Rotrex over other Class Bs is they have separate eating and sleeping sections. You've got a separate eating area at the front and your primary sleeping area at the back. That way you don't have to make up a living area every morning or make up a bed every night. It also allows the two of you to get up and go to bed at, on different schedules. We use original captain seats from the vehicle manufacturer for superior quality, durability and comfort. Nobody puts the same effort into designing and engineering a captain seat as a large automobile manufacturer's. But we've added a power lumbar support and second armrest for even more comfort. The cab area is very roomy, making it easy to swivel the captain seats and provides for much better leg room, especially on the passenger side. The panoramic windshield and windows makes for a great view while driving. And Road Truck was the first company to meet new federal motor vehicle safety standards to reduce head impacts and injuries during crashes. Now let's take a look at the outside. Many of our models are built in the Chevrolet Express van. It's rated number one by J.D. Power and Associates in their initial quality surveys. The Chevy chassis features a long wheelbase for better ride and handling. And in all our Chevy models, we lower the floor, that way you get full standing height without having to have such a high roof. That way you have less exterior height, better fuel economy, minimize wind sway, and also gives you a better exterior appearance. The propane in most of the water tanks are located below the floor and close to the rear axles for better weight distribution and handling. Also by being below the floor, you maximize your interior storage space. It's an exterior storage area here that can also be used for auxiliary battery, if so equipped. 
Well, your primary auxiliary battery is located behind this panel here. Up here you'll find the vent for the built-in air conditioner and heat pump. As mentioned earlier, it is built into the roof rather than being on top. This is reduces exterior height, improves aerodynamics, and helps avoid RV parking restrictions. Behind this access panel, you have the propane fill, an auxiliary connection for an external barbecue. The generator is located between the propane tank and the rear axle. To maximize interior storage space, the spare tire can be mounted in the Continental kit. Notice that the kit is mounted to the receiver rather than onto the rear door. General Motors prohibits mounting a spare onto the rear door to avoid stress on the hinges. With the kit in place, you still have access to the right side. You can store the spare inside if you want to minimize the vehicle's length. To get at this side, you just have to swing the kit down. Just loosen a bolt, move the pin, swing the tire down. The wide swing dual rear doors give access to this large across the rear storage area. And finally, one of the water tanks is mounted above the floor so it can be used in moderate sub-freezing temperatures. You'll notice that the exterior is in clutter with all sorts of vents and hookups and grills. We've taken the upper fridge vent, which is normally the largest vent found on an RV, and camouflage it within this black louvered window frame. A number of the other items you normally find down the side of an RV, we've hidden down below in this door. We've taken this area below the van floor and created a large storage area. In addition, there's room for your 110 volt power cord to connect to shore power. And then behind this door, we have connections for your city water, your park TV cable, and even an exterior shower. The shower head and hose are just stored in here. Instead of having a conventional 3 inch sewage hose, having to store and handle the dirty thing, we have a macerator sewage pump, which chops up solids and liquids, and just injects it cleanly through this one and a quarter inch hose. There's even a manual override in the event the pump fails. Rather than locating the freshwater gravity fill on the exterior and adding clutter, we've located it in the driver's door post. This also helps prevent tampering with your fresh water supply. Well, there you have it. That's the 190 Versatile. Let's take a look at our next model, the 190 Popular. For some people, the double bed of the 190 Versatile isn't long enough, wide enough, or they want to sleep separately in twins. Let's take a look. The 190 Popular sleeps three, two at the rear in either twin or king size beds. For twin beds, just remove the table and the backrest. For the king size bed, the table goes down to become part of the support of the bed, along with another support, the night table you wouldn't even bring along, then the cushions go together and the backs drop flat for a six foot four by six foot two king size bed. The 190 Popular has an AV cabinet similar to the 190 Versatile, but it's quite a bit larger. So another cabinet on the other side, but you don't lose your privacy area. Create privacy to the rear like this. And this door swings across to create privacy to the front, just like in the 190 burst style. To accommodate the lengthwise sleeping, the kitchen is moved forward. You have a wardrobe behind the driver's seat and three seats at the front including these two seats, go down into a single bed, the same as in the 190 Versatile. Now let's take a look at the 170 Popular, the smallest road trek. The 170 is almost two feet shorter than 190 models, making it the easiest road trek to park 
and therefore the most convenient to use as a second vehicle. That makes it perfect for couples, singles, or even a family of five if you're willing to bring along a tent or a trailer for extra sleeping. The rear of the 170 is similar to a 190 verse style in that it goes down as a double bed. The kitchen is moved forward like in a 190 popular, resulting in three front seats and a single bed for a third. If our 190 models aren't big enough for you, you can go to our 210 wide body models, this first one being the 210 popular. The 210 Popular has a similar layout to the 190 Popular, except it's overall roomier and has added features. The beds are wider and longer. The cupboards are deeper. This model features a permanently enclosed bathroom. There's a toilet, vanity sink with cabinet below, medicine cabinet and 110 volt receptacle. To shower you can sit down inside the bathroom, just draw the curtain across to keep the door dry. Or you can bring the curtain and surround yourself where you're in the aisle and with a stand-up shower like in the other vehicles. Another advantage of the permanent bathroom is when it's in use, the aisle is still clear. The galley features a five cubic foot fridge raised for easier access, plus a one cubic foot convection microwave oven. Because the oven and fridge aren't inside the galley, there's a lot more storage, including above the oven, plus two large cabinets above the counter, and a huge cupboard down below. There's five deep drawers, including one with an extra work surface. It's a large galley window, longer counter, deeper counter, and even a pull-out table for the three seats at the front. Now let's take a look at the exterior features. The 210 is a true Y-body Class B motorhome. True Class B in that we start out with a full van body. Not like a so-called B-plus motorhome, which is really just a small Class C in that they start out with just the van cab. By starting out with a full van body, we can get a much longer wheelbase for better ride and handling without having to take dual rear wheels. Our vehicles are much lighter, we don't need dual rear wheels. After removing most of the body, we extend the frame 18 inches behind the rear axle, retain the two rear doors, and then add this stunning and beautiful fully painted fiberglass body. Rather than jutting out after the cab, it starts to widen gradually to its maximum point at the rear axle and then tapers gently to the rear. It's finished off with lightweight ABS ground effects. Behind the ground effects is this large storage drawer. Behind the rear axle, we have another storage drawer. Have our external connections for water, park TV cable, etc. In addition to the usual storage area across the rear, there's also a compartment below the floor. There's a pass through door for long items like skis. Behind the rear wheel, we have another storage drawer, just like on the other side, except this one's completely empty. And down here, there's room for two six-volt auxiliary batteries. Another advantage of starting with a full van body is we retain one of the side cargo doors and both rear cargo doors. That way, you have easier access for loading, better ventilation, and even better tailgate parties. Now, let's take a look at the sister to the 210 popular, the 210 Versatile. The 210 Versatile has a similar layout to the 190 Versatile, but has the same outside body, extra room and added features of the 210 Popular. The rear bed is a queen size bed, 6 foot 6 long. There's extra standing height like in the 210 Popular, more aisle width, larger kitchen counter, including a 4 cubic foot fridge below the counter. A lot of extra drawers below the counter as well. Now let's take a look at the new Sprinter base floor plan, the RS Adventurous. The 
One of the first things you'll notice is how open the vehicle is. There are no gables at either end of the kitchen and panoramic windows from front to rear providing openness and daylight unrivaled in the Class B. The kitchen has a large countertop, a one cubic foot convection microwave, and a 3.8 cubic foot fridge. In addition to the two front captain seats, you have a choice in secondary seating. Either the standard lounge seats you've seen in other vehicles, or these optional captain seats that slide, swivel, and recline for greater comfort. It also allows all four of you to face the table. You can even swivel these two second seats around towards the rear so all four of you can watch TV. But you still can sleep with two people up here using the optional folding mattresses. Just swivel the driver's seat with its back to the outside. Remove the headrest on this seat, swivel it around, and drop the back flat, and unfold the mattress. Do the same thing on the other side, and you have two single beds. At the rear, there's a dinette that converts into twins or a king size bed, just like in the 190 or 210 popular. Or you can get an optional electric power sofa. Let's take a look at that. Our optional power electric sofa provides three forward-facing seating positions while driving, a comfortable place to sit and relax during the day. You can even recline it slightly for even more comfort. You want to make it into a bed, recline it all the way. Let's remove the backrest if you want to use it as a twin beds. For king size bed, just pull the table out as support Pull the two cushions together and drop the backrest flat. The permanent bathroom is unique in that when the bathroom is not in use, doors are in this position to maximize aisle width. When you go to use the bathroom, doors come out to here to provide extra space inside. Where you'll find a toilet, a sink and vanity and mirror, and a sit down or stand up shower. In addition to many of the usual storage areas, there are cabinets all the way around the upper rear, down the side, and over the cab. On the passenger side, you can get a removable armoire. It's got shelving or hanging space above, a drawer down below. It's interchangeable with the passenger lounge seat. That way when you're traveling, you can either have extra storage space or an extra seat, whatever you prefer. On the driver's side, you can get a removable wardrobe, same as in the 190 or 210 Versatile. Now let's take a look on the outside of the vehicle. The RS is based on the Mercedes-built Sprinter van, combining legendary Mercedes-Benz engineering, quality, and durability. The fairly vertical sides maximize interior space while maintaining an overall exterior width that's actually slightly narrower than a regular full-size van. The wide sliding entry door provides full height and plenty of width. Long wheelbase provides a great handling and ride. And there's an auxiliary barbecue connection below the running board. The rear of the Sprinter features dual rear doors that swing a full 270 degrees. Exposing a large across the rear storage area. On the driver's side, we have your connections for external electrical, city water, and park TV cable located behind this door. Propane fill is down here. And the macerator sewage pump is located down here. There you have it. The features that make taking to the open road in a road trek so comfortable and relaxing. No matter what your needs, Road Trek has a vehicle best suited to you. What makes for a comfortable, enjoyable adventure? It's doing it in the number one selling North American Class B motorhome, Road Trek.